the housekeeper, are you? You, you didn't just happen by. Why not? Go ahead and take a load off. You ought to get yourself a wife. I was going to ask Martha, Charlie's sister, I, I was going to ask her if she could imagine it. But Wood had plans of his own. And there was always Dick Little getting in the way. But I, I, I give it some thought, though. Crops coming in? I ain't got much. Just a uh, garden patch and some pasture. I got sick of planting time. Ed? Hmm. How you feeling now? Why? You're acting queer. Well, I mean, you and me ain't been just good friends lately. It, it, it's not your fault, you understand. I, I just... You hear? Talk, though. Talk. Uh, people, uh, people tell you things. Why don't you give me an example? Oh. Well, uh, Jim Cummins come on by and, uh, we, you no know Jim. <laughs> Jim says, uh, you know, those boys got caught for that blue cut deal. Jim says, uh, that he heard that you may be planning to kill them. Why would I do that? Just talk, probably. To shut them up. Just talk. Come and say anything else? Nope. That was it, basically. Still don't explain why you're scared. I, I, I'm in the same situation. You see, I, I, I was terrified. I saw you come riding up. Just happened by. Yeah. Y yeah. Well, suppose you heard something though. So suppose you heard Jim Cummins say that we we might have been thinking to catch you and get that reward, but it, it ain't true, you know. But suppose suppose he expected that. Or, I ain't heard much of gossip lately. I've got six hundred dollars stashed away. I, I don't. I don't need no government reward. Nope. principle of it too.
glad I have him by. Yeah. Yeah. Me, me too. Say you and I go for a ride. Take you to town. I'll buy you dinner. Then I'll be on my way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 